It's powerful. Right here. Whack. I mean, that was uh, a pedal to the metal. Going for a little bit of innovation and just fading out the back of the wave. So. Stand by for another electric post-heat interview from the kid from San Clemente. Getting things started with Wade Carmichael and Adriano de Souza. Adriano de Souza, former world champ. Mick Fanning, the other world champ, still left in the draw. And another rookie battle here with Carmichael trying to get a quick start. Kept that one going. It was going to be a good score. Adriano down the line. First turn, he's down. Had a .83 before that. Face, but I could see. But um, yeah, I think that would have been like one of the best barrels of my life if I made that one. <laughs> Love that first hand account. Griffin, incredible performance. We'll see you in the later rounds. Back to you, Joe. Thanks a lot, Rosie. Great to hear from Cole Pinto reflecting on the two time that he had against Parco. A hero for him, and you can say he just took him out to get a spot into round four. He's ready. He's a, he's a competitive beast. And this guy right here, oh, just tearing the lip to pieces. Again, that big wrapping turn, so Wade Carmichael with a 3.17. This is going to be his backup. A lot of these rookies that we've been watching on the QS, some for a long time, some for a very short time, all add to the top 34 in such a great way. Back to DeSouza's last spots. Yeah, nice deep bottom turn there from DeSouza. Comes that wrapping turn. This guy never gives up on a wave. I mean, he's, uh, he will ride it to the absolute death. Leg burners don't exist in uh, Adriano de Souza's world. What's the drop and give you an update? In the barrel now to Souza. Out in front. Top turn wrap. Nice and easy on the inside corner for Adriano and he'll get out of there. So he took off on a few waves, just took a look and got out. He likes to do it because it feels good, but remember de Souza learning that, watching Trent Munro do it. He's a student of the game. And uh, if there's a piece missing, of the puzzle, he'll work on it to find it, as he did in Hawaii. St stayed with Jamie O'Brien, learnt uh, everything he could possibly learn from Jamie, and ended up uh, winning the Pipe Masters and the World Title. Him and uh, CJ Hobgood a couple of times, especially in Fiji, they'd be miles out of the area. Pulling in now is Carmichael. He'll get shot out with a lot of speed. There's the crab rail carve. Another version of the layback carve we've been seeing from a lot of characters on tour. Carmichael starting to run through this inside corner. It's nice and hollow, too stretched out. And he ends up underwater. A few different maneuvers, but the two arms behind the back pots, that is in style in 2018. It feels good, it must feel good because everyone's starting to do it and uh, it looks good. Here we go, nice barrel. I like the way he's leaning right forward there. Didn't really go down to the bottom and there's that rail grab. It just, uh, it feels good because while you've got that extra point of contact on the board as well, it just gives you that stability. Wade Carmichael mixing it up. I like that. You know, he's showing a different tilt on each maneuver and then just pulls into the closeout for good measure. 5-5 five five for DeSouza, then to a 3-9-3. Carmichael, 6-6-7 six, six, on his last as we now check out a deep bottom from, from Adriano. Just Adriano and Mick left in the draw as world champs. Throws a huge vertical climbing snap. Powerful wrap as he has his speed line drawn out beautifully. Using every ounce of water on the open face on that high line carve. And Adriano is starting to put together a beautiful ride. That's that rhythm that he loves here at Snapper. And as you mentioned before, he never likes kicking out early. He could throw a little maneuver right in front of the free surfer there. A little carve. And might as well kick out way down by Greenmouth. <laughs> wow. Smooth as silk. Nice late drop and then just that fading turn. So smooth in transition. I like this maneuver as well. Up and over the white water and then literally connects with the lip. Gets that bounce off it. It's almost a foam climb bounce and then this turn right here. Whoa, I'm all the way back around. I wasn't giving him the score up until that turn there. I think he's going to uh, change the situation. Five, six, eight required by DeSouza. I think Wade's going to need to back it up. He's going to have to get rid of that 4.5. He's going to be needing another score. That's just a, a, a tenacious competitor. I mean, someone that will just not give up. Locking in now. Almost thinking about the barrel is Carmichael, but he'll rip one right off the lip and sneak out of there and try to regain priority. Carmichael's low score for five. So DeSouza was looking for a 5.68 on that really long right-hander.
That score for DeSouza, the long right way down the beach of 687 is now the best number of the heat so far. Pushes the rookie, needing a 571. Here goes Wade. Front side power gouge in the pocket. There's a wrapping cutback. Section coming up quickly to blast off the top, and he'll finish. Both of them have been pretty relevant throughout the day, scoring-wise. Yeah, they have. Uh, I think it's just it comes down to the degree of difficulty in the turns. I mean, uh, and the variety as well. Wade Carmichael was showing some power, throwing a lot of spray through the air, and then this is a tricky section here because sort of like you've got a whitewater ball that's chasing you down the line, so you've got to fit the turn in. Green Mount Zone, or do you want the wave that Carmichael caught? Well, I think you, I think you want a healthy bit of mix of both. I think. Here we go. Two arm stall in the pit for De Souza. See the nose of the board just popping out. Puts himself even deeper for the bonus section. Right into a vertical whip right off the lip. Carved solid for the 2015 World Champ. He's into the inside wedge. Steady on that rail through the foam in the face. Another drawn out right for Adriano who spent over a decade in competition here at the Quicksilver Pro. Entering that 30 club, and we see him just quietly ask for the ski, getting barreled off the top, always is going to feel pretty sweet, Potts. That's the kind of wave you want. So there it is, Joe. Scores in now. Carmichael, 6.93. This was the two-arm stall in the barrel. How good does that feel? Yeah, well, it feels good. Let me tell you, the tube ride like we are talking about before. But then what, what Adriana does is he, he's not just happy with that, and he goes to town on it, finds a little bonus section through the inside here, manages a couple of beautiful turns, which is going to give that uh, that rider a few more points all the way through the inside. You know, it's tough to say what the judges are actually giving these inside sections. Wade Carmichael, 6.93 for the outside with no inside connection. So judges love the, the commitment to those turns. There's some legendary Brazilians like Flavio Paterats, Neko Paterats, both had two wins apiece. But the all most successful Medina, then to De Souza, then to Felipe now with five wins. Felipe spoke on his win earlier. He's loving the storm energy that's coming out of Brazil. He said it's going to be another fantastic season. Got a few turns to the inside, a 6.0, and so he's got to keep swinging for it here. Still needs that 6.74. Bottom drops out. Nice clean vision there. Gets a quick little spit to puff him out. Now he's into the carving section. All set up work down the line. Wants to finish in a little messy section there. Solid surfing. You know he wanted a bit more out of that inside corner. Got to be in a certain zone here to pick the ski up. Let's have a look at this wave here for the size of Wade Carmichael. Nerves of steel to let him go. Beautiful wave there. Nice and vertical. This is what I want to see, a bit more aggression out of Adriano de Souza. Dirty it up a bit, put that rail in the water, throw the spray up into the sky. If he wants those big scores, he's going to have to show that he really wants it. Griffin and Joel talk about their matchup. Back to Wade. Quick whip in the pocket, a lot of speed. Wanting to get barreled, but the section shuts down. And it just forces him to wait all the way down the line. What started off brilliant uh -huh. with a solid first turn is going to be... A throwaway score. Yeah, you can't afford to do that against the size of Wade Carmichael because uh, this guy, he's dangerous. Stretched out, bottom turn. Solid wrap for De Souza. Getting down the line, decides to pull in. Another section, he comes out. Belts it off the lip, oh. the tail slide, trying to hang on, oh. and he pulls it. <laughs> oh. Carmichael using priority to one turn, open things up for Adriano. Did that big carve, I was wondering if he'd pull in. And by the way, he's getting a bonus on the inside. Here comes his final finish, so let him throw away the air down by the free surfers. No, no, let's have a look at what DeSouza did. Off the bottom. There's that smooth wrapping turn again. Indecisive, now he decides to get barrel. Slides into there, comes out nice and clean. Straight up through the lip, loses the tail, lays back down on it, and somehow manages to get the board back under his feet. Already going to De Souza, ends up stealing the win off the rookie. 
just like a world champ would do. 8.2 to close it out and a spot into round four. Well, I've always said it, Joe. One little tiny mistake at this level could spell disaster. Wade Carmichael using priority when he didn't need to. He just needed to sit there and wait it out.